I'm born ready. <laughs> <laughs> you might want to take your mask off, Jeff, just his doing. Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> Welcome to Wesley TV. We are here at Wesley Christmas Fest. Sorry, I'm excited. I got to interview you. Tons of these interviews. My guest this evening is none other than DJ Angel. How's it going? Hey, good evening. I'm I think, fine. I think fine. I've seen you before several times. Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, 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 I've been around Fort Wayne for... Maybe about 20 years, you must have seen me before. <laughs> I mean, I just recently seen on my news feed today that you're on Fort Wayne Input. I am. I'm like, wow, I was like, he is everywhere. It's that, it's that charisma, you're charismatic, you're electrifying, you just got that, that personality that everybody likes. Well, you know what it is? I love people, and I love myself first. So that way, it gives me the, the ability to love people. Awesome. Everybody had their story, man. That's that. You know what I mean? That's very, very awesome. Yeah. Um, we've, we've talked to you before about your radio show, and your show is basically about Jamaican. You know, Jamaican. Uh, speaking about that, we're, we're talking about Christmas. Mm -hmm. So how is it different from American to, to Jamaican? American Christmas is uh, it's so quiet. It, it's so, I don't know. I mean, it freaked me out the first Christmas I spent uh, spent in in America. I wanted to go back home. Yeah. You know, because um, in Jamaica, in, in Christmas time is a happy time. I mean, people are just happy. A lot of parties. The whole of December month is a party month. From December first, the party begins. Oh wow. Everybody, friends, you know, having a party, and you don't know these people, but they get a party. You just go to the party. You know, that's what back in the days when I grew up. You yeah. know, and um. <clears throat> Uh, in, in the town centers and towns, every town, you'd have a Christmas tree lighting, just regular Christmas tree light, you know, all over the world. Yeah. And the mayor would do the honors of flicking the switch and light up the Christmas tree. Oh, wow. And then the excitement start. There, there's happiness in the street and people dancing and, and you're hugging people and saying, Merry Christmas. People you don't know, they don't know you. Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas. And a guy may, hey, hold this man, he's giving you a bottle of something to drink or whatever, or pouring a drink, and you're happy in the streets because they uh, cordon off, they block off the town center and oh gosh, then that happened like uh, a couple of days before Christmas. So the trees stay lit, you know, every night yeah. during that. Now the other nice thing is that uh, in the homes, they have parties in the home. As you walk in, they give you a traditional drink oh. made from sorrel. Sorrel is a uh, it's a flower. It's a plant. It's a flower, almost like uh, hibiscus. It's of the hibiscus family, so they use the, the the flower, the petals, like, and they boil that and ferment it into like a like a wine, but it's not don't have that great alcoholic content, you know. But it's it's a Christmas drink and fruit cake. Oh. So it's sorrel and fruit cake. You know, and it chopped it all kind of fruits, you know, cherries and apricots and all kind of stuff in, in it. And it's very fruity, you know, and, and um, yeah, everybody drinking sorrel and you're upset. Oh, I didn't get no sorrel from Miss Jane down the road or whatever you got. But, you know, by now, who makes the best sorrel, you know, drinking, you know, and, and, and that. And everybody is happy, you know. I mean, if you go to work kind of drunk, you know, your boss don't care, it's Christmas. Because <laughs> you know what's going on. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. And, and I must tell you another thing, too. The sun shines out in our Christmas. Here, it's winter, right? Yeah. In America. Okay. Well, halfway up the trees in your yard, it's painted white. It's whitewash. Oh, wow. And like on your, your, like your driveway, in that pathway going to your house, or whatever you have on the side of the pathway, like stones or big rocks, they're painted white as well. The reason for that is to assimilate snow. Oh, wow, that's pretty That's awesome. what's in the idea, like, oh, we don't have snow here, so you paint white. You gotta have a little white Christmas, you yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. so they do that, and um, everybody's so happy, man. So it's, it's such a joy. In the streets, like Christmas morning, there's concerts, Christmas morning, you know, morning concerts, yeah, you go yeah. to the uh, big theaters to go to a concert, oh, you know, some place have, a, have an outdoor dance and all like that, you know, different things go on. And, and um, 
that day before, what do you call it, um, Christmas Eve? Yeah. They have what you call a Grand Market. As a child, I didn't know what Grand Market was, but when I spent a Christmas in the more rural, I'm a city boy, yeah. in the more rural areas, I found out what was Grand Market. Grand Market is where the people bring all the toys and all that, and they spread out in the town center, and there's a merry-go-round, you know, in the middle of the street, and you're riding on your merry-go-round, and uh, local men playing their drums and blowing their fife, and they provide the music. And, um, and then uh, the big highlight, as it started to get dark, is the Jankunu Parade. Jankunu, I think the word comes from Africa, I don't know, but these men dress up like skeletons, like and they're very scary looking, almost like Night of the Dead here, yeah, sort of thing. Yeah, yeah. Like, but they're dancing. They're happy people dancing, you know. And and um, you know how you put, you, you stand on stilts. You you know the you, so you look very very tall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do they call that? I don't remember. Yeah, stilts is what they call stilts. It. Yeah, okay, yeah. and and these guys up there, and they're dancing, and you have one guy. Uh, um, he's the devil. Yeah, because it, it, it you know, and, and he's beaten with his whip and flashing with his whip, you know, and everybody, it's a joyful time, man. It's a joyful time. Wow. Christmas in Jamaica is one of the best Christmas you can ever experience, as opposed to America where it's just kind of low key and, you know, you can go to anybody's house at Christmas time in Jamaica and say, hey, what's up, Merry Christmas, long time to see, have something to eat. They're offended if you don't have something to eat in your house or drink, you know. Yeah. The, the, neighborhood, the neighborhood becomes a family. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's happy time in, in Christmas. We, sh we should go there sometime. <laughs> I know, I know, we should take a trip there. It sounds, man, that sounds... Lot, that's missing a lot in the world now. It's missing a, a lot in the world. Well, you know, things may have changed a little bit over the years, mm -hmm. but people still have their their enjoyment, you know, and stuff. Like, and the beaches. You can't find a spot on the beach, man. You're this close to somebody on a public beach because everybody goes to the beach. It, it's like Christmas morning, they're heading to the beach. It's like a, a ritual. You go to the beach Christmas morning. Christmas morning and New Year's. Huh. New Year's morning, you go to the beach. You're washing off the, the old year and be clean for the new year. You know what oh, I mean? Oh, wow. Yeah. So, yeah, this, we're going out for New Year's. Cool. We can use that for the New Year's show, too. Yeah. You know? So, wow. yeah. It, it's it's a happy time. Christmas time is a happy time. You know? Um, I used to work at a hotel. And at the hotel, they put on Christmas parties. But say, 30 hotels put on Christmas parties. Some of them is two parties or three parties going on at the same time. So we get off work, we go to that hotel. And hotel workers is like a, how do I say, a network. We all know each other, know yeah. where, you, you know, and know the department or whatever. And you go, somebody will surely invite you to, to their hotel party, you go. Then you invite them to your ho hotel party. Then you get invited to the other hotel party. So it's like a, a roll around. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. The you party know? continues from one to another. Yes, and there's house parties and there's street parties. It's just a wonderful time, man. Wow. And we sing the same carols and all like that, but most of them are in reggae. That, that sounds very interesting. You know, I mean, just imagine a, a song like, Silent Night in Reggae, you know what I mean? Yeah, that would be cool. <laughs> a little boy in a manger or something like that, you know, in reggae style. It is awesome. Maybe you can find that somewhere on Oh, you can find all, all them uh, Christmas albums, reggae Christmas albums on um, YouTube and all like that. Yeah, yeah. You should look that up, man. I'll, definitely, I'll yeah. check that out for sure. Yeah. Wesley, there you go. Yeah. For some uh, yeah. themes for this. For There's sure. always a song, a, a song called Christmas in J.A. J.A. Me, meaning Jamaica. Yeah. And... and yeah, check that out. <laughs> Might have to play that on the show for yeah. the first time here on America TV. Before I go, is there anything you can say to your friends out there, anybody that's watching? I want to say uh, when Christmas comes, have a very Merry Christmas and share love with your brother man, your friend, because we need more of that in the world. We are losing our people daily to this pandemic that is here now upon us. And um, protect yourself to pick up to protect others, the life you save, 
may be your own. True facts. Stay tuned for more for Wesley's Christmas Fest. Bye bye. Giggle them, giggle them, giggle them, giggle them, giggle and I'm loading people. 
giggle, them a giggle, them a giggle, them a giggle, them a giggle, and a bloody giggle. On the mountain, by the fountain, riding on a penny for a hen, watching the little children. Happy holidays from all of us at Parkview Health. On the first day of Christmas, my Parkview gave to me a hospital in my community. On the second day of Christmas, my Parkview gave to me two acts of love and a hospital in my community. On the third day of Christmas, my Parkview gave to me three true friends, two acts of love and a hospital in my community. Hi there, how can I help you? Our doctor sent us over it. This is Holly. Yes, Miss Holly. Yep, so I have you right here on the computer. Let me go check to make sure your room's ready. But mommy, I don't want to stay in the hospital. I know, sweetie. But we gotta get you feeling better, and the doctors and nurses are gonna help. But it's almost Christmas. Santa will never find me here. Okay, Holly, if you want to follow me right this way. 
It's actually been really quiet up here. You're the only kid on the floor right now. Looks like you got some decorations. It's gonna be okay, honey. It just doesn't feel like Christmas. Anybody, we got a sing-along song for you. This is Toy to the Will. Was a week before Christmas, the big night was near. Santa came for a checkup of his heart, bones, and ears. Let's go into the room now, like an elf on a shelf, and see if dear Santa got a clean bill of health. <laughs> Hi, how are you today? Mister, do you prefer Kringle or Claus? Claus will be just fine, young man. Okay, great. We're going to take a quick listen and see how your heart sounds. Sounds jolly. Let's see what the x-rays show us. Interesting. I have to say your heart is in mint condition. Well, thank you, doctor. Do you have any more medical advice for me? Well, I'd say make sure you take a run with the reindeer every now and then. Manage your holiday stress over the next couple of weeks. And I know you're going to want to celebrate, but make sure you watch your desserts. Why, what do you mean, watch the desserts? Well, Santa, let's talk about your diet. I just want to make sure you're fueling up properly for your big flight. Can we start with yesterday and tell me what you had to eat? Sure. Let's see. For breakfast, I had a stack of gingerbread pancakes with a gallon of maple syrup and four cups of cocoa. Lunch was a dozen sugar cookies. And for dinner, it was a fruitcake with gumdrops and three candy canes. I just love candy canes. Don't you, Adrienne? I sure do, Santa but I'm a little worried about the amount of sugar you're eating. We need to be mindful of that bowl full of jelly you're getting there. How about we try some fruits and vegetables? Oh, fruits and vegetables? Yeah, like instead of reaching for your cookies, let's try an apple instead. And they even come in your favorite color, Santa. Oh, okay. In addition to nutrients, fruits and vegetables have calcium, which is great for your bones too. You know, I have been experiencing some discomfort. Hey, Santa. Last year, you mentioned some pain in your back and legs. Why, yes, it hurt like the dickens. Right, so did you try lifting the toy sack with your legs like I showed you? Yes, I tried, but the toys, they seem to get heavier every year. And there are so many good little boys and girls. Well, I need you to find another way to get the toys into the sleigh. Maybe ask the elves for help. Lower lumbar pain can really turn you into a Scrooge. Oh, okay. Now, for your legs, I'm afraid the news isn't too good there. Would you look at that? Here are the x-rays from last year, and as you can see, all those years of having children sit on your lap has caused quite the change to your bone structure. So, I'm gonna have you start foam rolling after a long day at the mall. 
Maybe use some ice. Try some snow on it, maybe that'll help. And afterwards, some heat. Maybe sit by the fire. Let's see if we can get rid of some of the discomfort for you, okay? Well, that sounds great. Am I good to go? Not until I've given you a once-over, Santa. Of course. Oh my. Wow. Woo! Oh my, that tickles. Everything looks good here, Santa, but I want to remind you of a few things. No sleigh rides after eggnog. Make sure you don't breathe as you go down the chimney and make sure there are no flames in the fireplace. And remember, no milk that's been sitting out longer than four hours or if it smells funny, and no texting and sleigh riding. Yes, Thomas, I promise. You have a safe flight. Did someone, someone say, say flight? flight? Santa, what's up? Getting your pre-flight checkup, I see. You got it. <laughs> cool. We'll see you up there, buddy. Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. Oh, 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 oh.